We have also signed a memorandum of understanding with the UAE on advanced technologies, on collaborative research, on working towards uh, strengthening the intellectual property systems, on sharing of science and technology policies, and working towards harmonization of standards, legal metrology, conformity assessment, accreditation. Both these milestone decisions today will help the Indian businesses, will help our trade expand in UAE, which will help attract more investments from UAE to India, furthering the vision of Prime Minister Modi and uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed to have a $100 billion investment in India from the UAE. We are also accompanied by a large business delegation who have flagged off issues of uh, concern that both sides have over the years uh, experience, which we are resolving on a mission mode. We have also had extensive discussions around creating food parks in India, creating industrial parks, both in India and in the UAE. We have looked at further expanding the rupee uh, dirham trade, which has uh, now been operationalized with the effort of the Central Bank of uh, UAE and the Reserve Bank of India. I have just completed discussions with the Reserve Bank and the Central Bank, and we have agreed that we will work with industry and bankers to speed up and operationalize the rupee dirham trade much faster, much bigger. That itself will have a huge impact, both on saving at least 5% on all the trade that happens between the two countries, between all the currency exchange losses. It will also help us in making the remittances flow from UAE to India at a lower cost, thereby helping the middle class and all the workers who work in UAE. When they remit their money to India, the costs will become almost most minimal. And all in all, this 11th high-level task force on investments has been full of outcomes. I am very confident that this will set in force a new era of partnership between the two countries, of expanding the scope and the width of investments from the UAE to India, and certainly create millions of new jobs in India. They are very, very keen to invest on infrastructure projects, on uh, projects related to education and healthcare. They are looking at food and food processing in a very big way, financial services and the entire gamut of uh, the ecosystem has been another area in which UAE companies have shown a lot of interest. The airline sector and the entire aviation ecosystem also holds a lot of promise given the huge thrust that's given to travel and tourism and the potential that India holds. I believe that the, in the days ahead, we will see significant flow of investments both in public markets and in uh, manufacturing and services sector, in pharmaceutical, in roads and highways, in ports, other infrastructure activities. Clean energy is another area, green hydrogen, renewable power, solar, wind, where they are very keen to focus their investments, investments towards innovation and upstream and downstream projects in the petroleum and petrochemical sector are areas of mutual interest. So while at one point of time we would say sky is the limit, I think I can say now even the moon is not the limit. Thank you.